Have you ever had the cold or the flu? <coughs> At some point, you probably have. But how and why do we get sick from viral illnesses like the cold or the flu? Why do so many people seem to have viral illnesses in the winter? These questions and more will be answered in this video, so stay tuned until the end. Illnesses like the cold or the flu are caused by something called a virus. Viruses are tiny microscopic infectious particles that cannot reproduce on their own. They must have a host. A host is an organism that provides the materials necessary for viruses and other organisms to live and or replicate. Humans are one of many types of hosts that a virus may use to replicate. So how exactly do viruses enter our bodies? Viruses can linger in the air and on commonly touched surfaces like countertops, doorknobs, and faucets. When viruses make contact with a host, they attempt to find an entry point to gain access. Common points of entry include the eyes, the mouth, and even the nose. We sometimes, however, give viruses access to our bodies when we touch our mouth or nose or rub our eyes. Once inside the body, the viruses can multiply by attaching to and entering living cells inside the body. Once inside our cells, they use the cell's tools to reproduce and make more copies. These additional copies, when released, can go and infect more cells. What happens to you when you get infected with the virus? Well, you might not even know at first because of something called an incubation period. This is the number of days between when a virus enters your body and when your symptoms actually appear. This period can be a several days, weeks, or even longer depending on the virus. During the incubation period, you may unknowingly spread the virus because you may not have any symptoms or recognize that you're even sick. For many respiratory illnesses like the common cold, COVID-19, and flu, symptoms could include coughing, headaches, runny nose, and more. These are some that your body is fighting something. The immune system helps your body fight the virus and helps you feel better. The immune system is made of something called white blood cells, which are responsible for fighting off viruses and invaders. Taking medicine and staying hydrated can also help you fight off viral infections and in some cases reduce the severity of the symptoms. So now you know how and what happens when you get sick. So let's talk about why colds and flu seem to be more common in the winter months. Have you noticed that it seems that significantly more people have colds or flu during the winter months? Why is this? Some scientists point to vitamin D levels. During the summer, you're exposed to more sunlight, which provides vitamin D, which helps regulate your immune system. However, during the winter, there may not be as much sunlight and some people can become vitamin D deficient. This drop can make people way more susceptible to illnesses like the cold and the flu. Other scientists have noted that because people spend more time inside during colder months, they're more likely to breathe the same air and spread these types of common viruses. Did you know this? Comment below.